Hey there, Gemini. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Carolyn B. And I'm just going to be pulling you a couple of cards for December 2020. Um, I want to thank you all for leaving your comments and uh, support. And I also want to thank Nicole for allowing me uh, to share a little bit. And we're just going to see what's going on for December 2020. For those that may be unfamiliar, Gemini, you are an air sign. Ruling planet is Mercury. All right. I am going to apologize up front. It's like, what now, Carolyn? About the jackhammering that's been going on nonstop. <laughs> One thing after the next, but this is great. All right. Uh, I'm only mentioning that, Gemini, because some of you could be possibly going through that. It's like you try to get something done and then something happens. So let's see here. Gemini's, this reading is not gender specific. This uh, can also go vice versa. So your very first card for December 2020 here, it's we have a look at your inner strength. You are stronger than what you realize. My gosh. Are we also dealing with number 11 there? Do my eyes deceive me? No, they don't. All right, so 11, angels calling card, all right? Uh, look into your inner strength. You are a lot stronger, and you know that, and because you've had to deal with a lot of things, and you don't have to be a reader or anything out there like that out there to know that people have gone through it you know uh people have been hurt that's like saying i've gone through life without you know accidentally getting a like a, a bruise or a cut or something like that so we're going to concentrate more on the future you know even though the past likes to kind of rear its ugly head sometime now doesn't it so gemini it's this is i'm really envisioning here almost your higher self here uh something significant really happening in the winter so this is actually very perfect timing here you know you may uh you know people joking around or maybe they're serious but they'll be like caroline you're an ice queen <laughs> so you may be getting people that just like throw their shade at you and it's like honey if you really wanted me to i could throw the whole tree at you but you're not doing that you know uh you're keeping safe here all right kind of like your bubble there she's looking into that crystal ball right there all right your higher self in this is you all right arms out dancing around all right even if it's with yourself and i do understand you're all in different areas of your life especially when it comes to love and relationships here you know uh somebody here is really wishing that you were theirs i'm just going to tell you that right up front and that's the thing that i love about um my air signs out there you know you could be working uh not only yourself gemini maybe gemini 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 aquarius possibly maybe even uh gemini libra here all right. Uh, so you may have your eyes set on someone. Some of you may be like, Carolyn, I'm not even interested in dating anyone right now. I'm just trying to keep it together, trying to uh, also to I'm getting that sense of holding something so fragile. You do not want to break that. And it can be very difficult, especially in these times that we're going through even before any of <laughs> any of all this started. Right. You know, it's just like I'm holding this very dear to me because this is mine. This is something that nobody is going to break or shatter. Yes, it may be delicate. And yes, handing over your heart to someone or even giving somebody a chance because of something stuff in the past is very difficult to do sometimes all right um, however this is really good uh, also too if we look a little bit closer here we have some somebody with fabulous hair first off and foremost and whoever does your color job uh, does a great job and still got to do mine but you know it's more important for me to get these readings out so also to the fall something to do with jewelry something to do with sterling silver as well possibly maybe even uh white gold i'm not sure uh also too it's just like what what is it celebrating relationships so big shout out i forget which one it is feel free to leave a comment below too which anniversary it is considered you know you've got the silver anniversary the gold anniversary for how many years you've been together with somebody so congratulations uh congratulations some of you may be celebrating that and uh it, it's just like this you know you've come to a place where you know who you are whether people realize who you are or not that's 
their thing. Uh, and the thing that kind of, you know, it, it aggravates me a little bit, you know, uh, when I see Gemini's out there, uh, again, love my Gemini's out there. Uh, air signs are actually my weakness. All right. And, uh, you know, Gemini's will give you the shirt off their back. They, they're very, um, kind and caring. They're very attractive. You know, uh, they, people like to misunderstand and mistake them for somebody that they can take advantage of, unfortunately. And I think it's wrong. And that's not saying that Gemini's don't know any better because they know exactly what's up and what the deal is. So it's just like, you know, and, and that can be hurtful. And when you've got like somebody jackhammering stuff down like day after day after day after day, eventually it wears on a person. So I'm seeing wonderful things though. And also to 11 right there. What does 11 mean? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at a few other cards here. All right, possibly signs to be on the lookout for, especially for my singles out there. Uh, whether ready or not, oh, yep, ready or not, here they come. Mm -hmm. Let's see, my angels, my spirit guides, what other messages could we possibly uh, give to our Geminis out there for December 2020 here? Okay, so we have the sun card right here. So Aquarius is showing up again. All right. Uh, also, too, we could be working. I do read differently. This sun here is really standing out. So that screams out to me. Some of you could be working with that Leo energy as well or meeting a Leo, uh, you know, maybe an Aquarius. All right. Also, too, if we take a little bit of a closer look here, uh, it, it could be, uh, yeah, Aquarius is showing up here. Also, Aries, maybe even Taurus, Gemini, Gemini, Cancer. Also, Scorpio. What's going on with that? Capricorn corn maybe all right and it's just like the sun this is wonderful i really like this card uh this is great when it comes to it's just like i want to get out there i want to get out in the sun you know i want to get tan i want to get out in nature and with everything going on uh it can be very difficult all right and this is great. This is also to healing energies. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer, anything like that. However, I see a lot of you are getting re-energized in. Also to possibly installing solar panels or looking into investing uh, something solar to help save you money and also to uh, eco-friendly uh, type of stuff like that. All right. Um, also to it's it just this is really great. I'm really, really liking this. Is that Egypt in the background there? I don't know. It almost looks like a pyramid back there. Also, too, a lot of you are astrologers out there or aspiring uh, astrologers. You know, also, too, feel free to leave comments below on uh, what your niche might be, especially when it comes to, you know, spiritual, uh, you know, studying or you're all on different levels here, which is great. It's fabulous, too. Somebody may be uh, getting a vacation as well, which I'm liking, possibly some romantic vacation. It's like, okay, Carolyn, yeah, you said something about winter. Don't even say the S word. I live in uh, New England, and they're just like, don't even say it, Carolyn. Snow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do travel a lot, but uh, yes. Some of you may be like... Uh, Maybe you live in an area where it snows a lot or it's very cold and you are one of those southern birds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you're like, all right, winter, winter's here, time to go south until winter's over, then come back. All right, and I'm really liking this. Also, to a romantic vacation. Uh, it's just like, Carolyn, how are we supposed to get out here with everything going on and the closures? It, it's coming. It's coming. A celebration, possibly to uh, tying the knot with somebody. Also... Uh, for my singles out there. All right, we have the tower card in reverse. All right, so this is a fear of things falling apart, possibly, uh, you know, and it, it's just like, again, we do not want to keep repeating the past or reiterating about the past or letting potential future uh, partners uh, pay for uh, past partners' mistakes. You know, we don't want to put that stuff on them. Not everybody out is out to get you. All right, um, it's like, you know, things 
it's it's a fear and it's a very valid fear you know uh things falling apart uh having to rebuild everything again gain it lose it gain it lose it gain it lose it when can we just build a strong foundation might take a little bit longer <laughs> okay uh however you won't have to keep dealing with that again all right and that's very positive you know no more of the you know coming home early and someone you know trying to jump out the window here to hide or this and that not even gonna have time to gathering their clothes and stuff all right so also too this is uh working with that finding your strength you've been through it again and people really are intimidated by a strong independent person especially if you're single out there you know um it's just like all right this is what I want in a particular person. I want them to be successful. I want them to be this. I want them to be that. And then when they get that, it's just like, is this too good to be true? Am I being tricked here? Possibly an early Christmas present. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so people are intimidated by you. And especially too, when they think that they can take advantage of you and you, you put your foot down, you know, in a nice way, the nicest way you can. And it's just like, well, can you just do all the work for me? You're like, no. Maybe a Gemini, but I am certainly no dummy, honey. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have here. Let's play you another card. We'll play you one more card here. See what we've got going on for our Geminis when it comes to December 2020. Just a few quick messages here. So, okay, we have the Badger Spirit here. On the bottom here, it says, be fearless and bold. Gemini. You don't have to work at being bold, honey. People may be like, wow, that's a bold thing you just said, or how dare you? Uh, because, again, I feel like a lot of you are uh, Hayoke empaths out there, you know. You don't like to see people upset because you absorb that energy, you know. So it's also a way of uh, transmuting that and possibly, you know, deflecting that because people do like to spill all their problems and concerns on you. However, you want to help everyone, but you do have to be mindful and putting it yourself first, all right? And if people get hangry or angry, and if they are uh, on a diet like some of us are going to be on, okay, uh, possibly they could get a Snickers bar if uh, they can't handle your greatness, and I'm loving this, all right? Be fearless, be bold, all right? Possibly a new business venture, possibly uh, getting to know somebody or asking that person out. Maybe you're like, is that person really that into me? I'm, I'm nervous about this, all right? Also, too, what, what are these flowers here? All right. It, it almost reminds me like of sunflowers, maybe like some sunflower uh, lotion or that scent, uh, you know, uh, oils uh, also, too. I do not. What are these daisies? I, I am not sure. I don't I don't know. However, this is also going within. Also, too, again, this is going back to your roots as well. This is having to be brave, and this is also home. This is also security. This is also property. This is also taking on possibly a property, and it's just like, this is a fixer-upper, and what was that movie called there? What was it? Uh, I forget. Tom Hanks was in it, I believe. Uh, you know, they buy this uh, gorgeous, gorgeous house, and they got a really good price on it, and, and every time they'd go to fix something, um, it, it, something else would fall apart like they'd they'd get like the pipes fixed the staircase went you know they'd get this fixed and then the roof had to be replaced and money pit was it money pit i think so they kept throwing all their money into it and it's just like <laughs> then the relationship started getting off and then that actually brought them closer together and more happier you know it gets to that point and it's just like um laughing together and it's just like I can't believe we we argued like that I can't believe you know uh the smaller things were starting to get to us so if you feel like you're in a relationship where possibly if there's any bickering going on or you know maybe feeling stagnant anything like that all right 
that is going to be getting better. Uh, somebody out there may be like, oh, no, it's not, Carolyn. I want out. I want out of this relationship, not to instill fear or scare anyone out there. However, it could be a very valid possibility for somebody. Okay. This is being fearless and having to uh, possibly move out. Uh, also, uh, getting your own place, getting your independence, possibly maybe you've never had your own place before. Uh, you know, this is claiming that independence and this is wonderful. All right. All right. Very last message here. For December 2020, we have the Hermit card. All right. Retreat and recharge. Some of you are having to take that vacation. Uh, some of you are possibly in financial crises right now. So it's just like, I don't have money to get away. I don't have money to do this and do that. Uh, trying to change, uh, not trying, but we're going to be doing changing your verbiage. So you're not putting that out there because the more we dwell on certain things, like I'm not going to get this project done or they're going to, that man, that woman, they're gonna, just going to say no to me or whatever. You never know. You never know. But the more you put that out there, the more you dwell on that, it actually manifests itself. It's like a snowball effect. And I know it's very difficult to do, all right? Uh, but we'll all work on it together. How about that? And uh, retreat and recharge. And if you see me leaving a lot of comments on Nicole's channel, too, and stuff like that, it's not me being like I'm a know-it-all. Absolutely not. I've got questions, too, you know. Uh, but hermit, that's pretty much retreating within yourself, uh, practicing your spiritual practice. Uh, maybe your your mantras, your meditating. Maybe if you came across this channel, and let's say you aren't a part of any particular religion, spiritual background, belief system, perhaps maybe you don't believe in anything at all. Okay, uh, this is no matter what who you are, where you are out there, going within yourself, doing that inner work and having to create those boundaries sometimes. It's like, you know what, just give me a minute. I need time for myself here. I need to work on myself here because if I don't, then it's going to be good for nobody, right? So this is great. This is recharging. Also, too, I'm seeing spa day uh, for somebody out there. You know, it uh, could be getting your nails done or even at home. You could do it, you know, fairly inexpensive. All right. Uh, also, too, maybe like a new hairstyle, new clothes, like massage, uh, facial, stuff like that. You know, uh, anything, anything that's relaxing, maybe getting a chair with like a massager in the back. I'm not sure sure, whatever it is that you have to do to get away. And some of you may be in a situation where you're stuck with a room full of people and it's just like, you need to get away up here. Okay. Uh, but this is looking fabulous. I am loving this and, uh, thank you all. And until, uh, I see you again. Bye.